nice guys, they love complexity. Maybe you're a nice guy. Maybe you love complexity. But my question to you is, why do you love complexity so much? What is the hit that you get out of complexity? As a nice guy, one of the things that uh, they love so much is just being complex about everything. Uh, I can't go talk to the girl because, you know what? I think she's in a rush. You know what? I can't go talk to the girl right there because maybe she doesn't want to talk to me. You know, I can't go for the kiss because, you know, right now, you know, maybe it's not the right time. You know, what if she doesn't like the kiss? What if I'm not good at kissing? You know what? I just won't kiss. Do you see where complexity leads you? Complexity actually psychs you out. It psychs you out of something, not psychs you into doing something. It psychs you out of something that you want to do. Simplicity, I've found, has been the best way for a person to live on this earth. Living with simplicity and living in a simple way makes life more grandiose. The complexity makes life very, very cluttered and shady and foggy. So I would say for any guy out there who is incredibly nice, this is what I would say for you. Or you have nice guy ways because when I, when I say incredibly nice, some guys, even if they're watching this and they have things to work on, they don't like to own up to it. So I'll say even if you feel like you're really, really nice. Stop being so complex. This is what I would say. Every single thing that you have in as, as an excuse is just a reason for you not to do something. It's a complex reason for you not to do something. Because you have that reason, but the back history of that reason is so many things that you can say. You know, I can't go talk to the girl because, you know, when I was little, I tried that. It didn't work. And over the years, you know, I tried to, you know, get over that, but that didn't work out. And now that I'm here in front of you, man, I can't go talk to this girl because fuck. What if it doesn't work out again? And I'm like, look at all that complexity that you just went through. It's, oh, I can do this because it is, and I tried it, and then this didn't happen, and this. All of that is actually what you like as well. You probably like your complexity. You like all the shit that's inside of yourself, the bullshit that's inside of your mind, because it helps you to not do what you're going to do. It gives you a reason to not do it. And everybody in life, they all have these reasons why they won't do things. These good reasons, these reasons that, yeah, that's a justified reason why I won't do it. You know what? I won't go, you know, make this deal because that's a justified reason. I won't go, go, talk, I won't go talk to this beautiful girl because, you know what? That reason I have is justified. She's in a rush. You know, when girls are in a rush, I know when I'm in a rush, I don't like anybody coming up to me and, you know, breaking me out of my day. So I won't do that. It's a justified reason. The back history of that. You know what? When I'm in a rush and I have to go do something, you know, I just want to go do that thing. I feel like when I'm talking to a girl or she's in a rush, maybe she doesn't want me to talk to her because she has stuff more that's more important. And with these more important things that she have to do, if I just come in and I say something to her, wouldn't she get mad? Wouldn't she feel like disgusted by me? Wouldn't she just tell me to fuck off? Yeah, you have all these things that a woman could say, but that's still your complexity inside of yourself, your bullshit that you're going through that's making you not do the thing you want to do. So complexity is another reason for, is another name or thing you could put around excuses. You have these amazing excuses. Amazing. Fuck. Amazing. Oh, she looks like she doesn't want to speak to me. I go, why she does, Why does she want to speak to you specifically? You know, maybe because, you know, today I didn't, I didn't wear something good. You know, maybe she's, you know, I'm not her type. You know, she looks like she goes for guys who are tall. She actually looks like, you know, she's a really, really fucking funky girl. She looks like she goes for guys who have a little bit more flavor to their look. It's all these amazing complexities that we build as men and as people to just get us from not doing the thing that we actually want to do. It keeps us safe. And in our safety net, we can just pull other people in who feel safe and go, yeah, man, I understand that. Yeah, I don't talk to girls for this reason because guess what? This is the reason. And, the guy, and that person goes, oh, that's great. That's the reason. 
and you attract people to you who also have complexity. But then when you come up against somebody like me, somebody like the guys I work with, somebody like other people out there who've done it, who know about bringing women into their life, <clears throat> and how much simplicity is much more attractive than complexity. Once you get us in your aura, and you bring, you give us your money, and you go, you know what? Help me with all this complexity. We just go, actually, it's not all of that. Just understand that your past was the past. And the only thing you can control is the pain <clears throat> sensationally that come with that. That's the only thing you can control. You can sit with the tension that arises and what you're doing, but that's pretty much it. Yeah, you can get different meanings in place of your complexities, but the simplest thing you can do is to be in the moment present to what you're afraid of. And as you're in the moment present and afraid of that, we let you know that there's a tension that arises. And as this tension arises, you just locate the tension. And as the tension is there and you locate it, you just allow it to be there. Do you see how that's simple? But it's not like we give you complexity like, you know what, because of all these different things, you know, let's not work with this thing. Let's work with this thing. And you know what? Don't go talk to the girl right now because if you go talk to the girl right now, you're not ready. You know, you got to work through this pain and you got to go through that. Imagine if we did that. We would never get anywhere with you guys. Of course, we talk about, I talk about in this video, these videos with you guys about different reasons why you're not doing certain things and you don't have the women in your life that you want but besides that if you came in to workshop with me if you did a Skype session with me it would be very different I will let you know that this is more simple than you're making it you're not willing to be honest with yourself so you will stay in the same rut that you've been in for the rest of your life but you need to be honest with yourself and the moment you become honest with yourself honest is simple honesty is not complex honesty is very very simple I'm afraid that if I walk up to this woman, she will believe that I'm not a confident man and that's something I want to project to the world. I am afraid that when I go walk up to this girl and I'm in front of her, that she's going to be able to see this nasty fucking thing that I have on my face that I got a cut from when I got hit by a car. I'm afraid that when I'm on a date with the girl, that it's going to lead towards sex and I'm not going to be good in bed. That is the reason why. But many men are afraid to be really honest with themselves because they know honesty with yourself is scary. For anybody. It's nerve-wracking. But it's the most simple route that a man can take. Simplicity. Start taking on simplicity. Start loving it. Start making simplicity a part of your life. Start cutting out all the shit that comes in and go, what is the simple thing I can do right now? What is the simplest thing I can do right now? Right now, I'm afraid to go speak to this woman. What is the simplest thing I can do right now? Is sit with the tension of whatever it is. My mind will give me a hundred thousand billion, gazillion reasons. And that's complex. Our minds are very, very complex. They give us all these clutter ways of doing things is so much clutter but what's crazy is that in your dotian in your body there's no complexity everything is simple the heart beats this way yes it's a very very intelligent system but nothing is very very complex and like you got to think about it and it confuses you no you confuse yourself your body being in your body this is why i talk about meditation so much there's no complexity. You just see the truth of every moment. Meditation in itself. Being present to this moment. Being present to what you're feeling. Being present to your desire. As you're doing that, what you will notice is that this is clear right now. Right now, clearly, I can see that there's a girl sitting right there. I know that I clearly want to go talk to this woman. Simple, simple, simple. I know I clearly want to go talk to this woman. But I feel that, fuck, she won't like me. That's what I feel. I feel that she, she won't like the fact that I'm black. I feel like she won't like the fact that I'm Asian, that I'm Indian. I feel like she will not like the fact that I'm not dressed as wonderful as I think that she wants me to be. All these reasons. 
They all give you a reason to not do what you want. That's really what it is. Stop allowing your complexities to stop you from doing the things you want to do. Stop allowing your fucking complexities to rip you away from the experiences with women that you desire most. I desire most to be in front of you guys and to give you the simple way for you to be yourself. Because everybody wants to give this complex way when in essence the only way you can ever be yourself is by really getting rid of all the shit that's been telling you that you're not yourself. Or everything that she tells you that you need to be something else. When things are giving you a route to something else that you should be, it's not beneficial for you to be who you are. Somebody can say, you should be truthful like this, you should be uh, sweet like this, you should be nice like this. But as they're telling you these things, they're putting you into a box of what they believe will make you yourself. But literally the only way you can ever be yourself is by getting rid of your mind. Your mind is the thing that you've been attached to. You've been identified with. It is the only thing that you can get rid of for you to really know, okay, I have nothing to attach to. I'm actually just space. When I have nothing to attach to, I'm just openness. And everything besides that is not me. Openness itself is this moment. Openness itself is love. Truth. Anything that, this, that can exist in this moment right now is, is who you are. And everything else just expresses through you. Everything expresses through you. Anger expresses through you. <clears throat> Defeat. Sadness. Joy. These are things that all express through you, but none of it's you. It just happens through you. The simplicity of life gives you what you need. Stop making your life so complex when in essence you don't want to be complex. So if I had to give you guys some things that you can do right now to help your complex mind in the moment when you want to do something with a woman, this is what I would say. When you're in front of a woman, take notice. Before you even go up to her, take notice. Take notice of what? Take notice <clears throat> of what's happening inside of you. Just take notice. Which means, just go, yeah, my heart's racing. Right now I feel like my perineum, my perineum, has just contracted. Right now, I feel like I have butterflies in my stomach. My throat feels shaky, my knees feel weak. I feel sweaty. Just take notice of what's happening inside of you. And as you take notice, I want you to really understand this thing right here, which is going to let you know how absurd this actually is. As you take notice, say to yourself that this is the thing that's been stopping me from doing everything that I want to do in relation to women. I want you to do that. It is daunting. It is a very, very fucking scary for you to do it. But I want you to go, my heart racing and me feeling uncomfortable about it is literally the only reason why I'm not getting sex in my life. My perineum. I feel tight underneath. This constriction inside of myself is the only reason why I'm not getting the women I want right now in my life. The only reason. Guys don't know this, but these things that we go through when our heart is beating really, really fast, or we feel like our mind's racing, we feel like, fuck, our throat is shaky, we feel like, fuck, we got butterflies in our stomach, we feel like, fuck, I don't feel like doing this, I feel discomfort. 
When you feel all these things, I want you to take notice that this is the only thing, or these are the things that I've, ha that I've allowed to control me. And they're constantly controlling me from not getting anything that I want. It is only these things that are happening in my body that stop me from doing what I want. It's so crazy that your mind racing is the reason why you don't have the women you want. It's literally just because your mind racing. That's, if you think about it, your mind's telling you she's going to say this, she's going to think this, you're going to think this, you're not good enough. Your mind is telling you that. That's not a real truth. Your mind is telling you these things and guess what? Whatever your mind's telling you because you're attached to your mind and you believe that's you, yes. You will absolutely follow that because you believe that that is you. And guess what? Your heart's racing. And you go, oh my God, you know, it's all these things and it's, it's this and that and that and this is where my heart, and your heart, because it's racing, your mind will immediately want to put a meaning on why your heart's racing. And all the meanings, because it's discomfort, will tell you that I'm not good enough. I'm this, I'm this, I'm this, I'm this. Just because of this sensation here, your mind phew, goes into all these different things. And now you're not good enough. Now you're this, now you're that, now you're this. But do you understand that this beating heart like just because it's racing and it feel you feel discomfort is the reason why you're not getting sex. It's only reason why. It's the reason why you're not approaching. It's the reason why you're not doing the things you want to do in your entire life. Not just with women, but just in your entire life. So what does that mean? As you take notice, just record that. Record that this is the thing that's happening inside of me every single time I want to do something that I want to do in relation to women or in life. But I allow it to stop me. I do. I'm going to be honest with myself. I allow this sensation only to stop me. And that's crazy, isn't it? Isn't it crazy that that's the only thing that's stopping you from getting you what you want and you still allow it? But this is one of the counterintuitive things that I want to tell you as well. That as much as I say come to simplicity, you have to become okay with discomfort as well. Simplicity aligns you with truth. Once you're very simple, you're being truthful. But guess what? Truth, when you're, when you're shifting from being in complexity over into simplicity, being truthful with yourself and with others and with women, that in itself is very, very fucking scary. It is very scary for you to go from complexity to simple because the simple world or the simplicity that I'm talking about is fucking truth. The simplicity that I'm talking about is disidentification from the mind. That is simple. That route to simplicity may actually be very, very, very discomforting. It's very, very difficult. I got to be honest with you. Being honest with yourself is very fucking hard. Being honest with others is very difficult because you're dealing with not only your fears, you're dealing with the fears of the person in front of you. You gotta, you feel in some way, when you're really, really like where I am, where I'm like really simple and I'm really uh, truthful with myself and with others, you have to constantly worry, well not, I, I have to constantly worry about what do these people feel when they're around me? Like I'm being truthful and fuck, I can see that this person actually is scared of talking to me. So what I have to start doing is understanding that, okay, I can be truthful, but at the same time, I can lower the intensity, but at other times, I'm going to speak it the way I want to speak it. And I'm just going to let others react in the way they're going to react to me. I need to. I can't always go around trying to mediate and save people from their fears, because I'm not trying to save myself from my own fears. So why would I try to save someone else from theirs? You need to understand that that shift that you're going to make from complexity to simple is going to be difficult. But the payoff is immense. Because the simpler you become within yourself, the more clarity you have on the inside. And the more clear you are, the more you're able to see the world and see women in a different way. The more you're going to be able to attract women to you who also don't have complexity. Women in its, in, its, in its, I will say women in them, in their essence, yes, it may feel complex to a man. It may feel complex. Yes, and, and there's times where a woman does something or she expresses something where you go, what the fuck, why would she do that? Yeah, 
sometimes I'm still am like, yeah, the women I attract, yeah, they still have complexity within them. They do. And the woman's nature is to be very just like this and there and this and there and this and there. And I like that. But you start to attract women who are less complex in their uh, evolve, their ev their evolution, their evolution as a being. They're less complex. Women who are honest are less complex than women who try to always be nice and do the same thing that nice guys do. Because as much as there are the nice guys out there, there's like girls who you, you can call them like women who are too needy, or they become nice as well, or too nice, or overextend themselves for a man. But I'll get into that another time because there's so much I can tell you guys. But just the first thing that I want you guys to do is to take notice of what's happening inside of you. After you take notice, what I want you to do is I want you to now tell yourself that this is the thing that's actually been stopping me from getting what I want. And I've been allowing it, to be honest with myself, I have. And also, after that, what I want you to do as a third step is to now make a step towards having a simpler life, having a simpler psyche, having a simpler way of being that's just present moment to moment and doing and expressing whatever comes through you. Because as you become less identified with your mind, you actually know that simplicity sets in. In this moment, I can just be clear and say this thing. In this moment, I can just do this thing. I don't need to have to think about, okay, what is this person going to think about me? Or what is this woman going to think if I say this? No, I'm just going to allow myself to say it and I'm going to just respond to whatever the woman gives me. Things just become more simple. So what it is, is that you need to commit to a life that's much more simple within yourself. And how do you do that? By allowing yourself to disidentify from your mind and the way through that is through meditation and my product that's got, that I'm coming out with absolutely I take you guys through meditation in that product because I know that that's one important part of my life and it's the number one thing I would say that would change anybody's life so it's in my product I talk about that I talk about truth expressing your truth I talk about these beautiful things in many different ways this transformational thing that I'm putting out from nice guy to masculine man, that is the route that every guy really wants if he has these nice guy behaviors. He just wants to take on these masculine behaviors that give him the attractiveness that he wants. So without further ado, I will see you guys in the next video. I'm out. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. You know, I'm always giving you something new. And it's also something new that I want to give you. I've created a video series, which is Approach to Bedroom. And I'll be showing you everything from what do you say upon an approach, not what to say, but how you can say what you want to say and being able to have the mindsets to go with that, being able to be in conversation, being able to take the woman home. And along this path, just giving you insights into things that may pop up to give you issues. I've covered it in this video series that, you know, packed full of about three hours of me just giving you guys everything that I can say is going to be the best from approach to bedroom. If you want this, it's totally free. If you want this, click the link below and what will happen is that you'll get a video series sent right to you and check it out. Until next time, I'm out.